Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. This is uh, taking a break from some of the normal stuff I do, and I wanted to kind of cheese on something that I just recently played. Uh, you guys know I'm a gamer. Big nerd. You guys know this. Uh, you can see behind me, and soon you'll see even more of this stuff uh, as time goes by. And, you know, some more stuff I'd like to do with the community eventually. Um, so I love video games. Love them. I, you know, ever since I was a kid, I played video games. Uh, and one of my favorite genres has always been first-person shooters. Uh, you know, in the glory days, Quake, Half-Life, Halo, uh, Doom, uh, Return to Castle Wolfenstein, stuff like that. Uh, these were big games that played uh, an important role for the development of gaming, uh, you know, ever since. Uh, and you're probably wondering, you know, we'll go ahead, get to the point, get to the point. So one of my favorite first-person shooters that's come out in a while is Doom Eternal. Um, you know, Doom Eternal was basically the reboot of Doom. Uh, actually, it started with Doom 2016, but Doom Eternal perfected that uh, specific model. And another game I used to play back in the day, I'm sure you guys have too. Actually, there's a few games you could actually think, and you're probably thinking one of them. You're like, there's no way you played it, but I did. Uh, Dance Dance Revolution, which was a rhythm-based, uh, you danced on this big machine that had the arrows and shit, and you just danced to that, to the beat of the song, to the, to the actual prompts on the screen. And Guitar Hero and Rock Band, which was a rhythm-based game where you use plastic instruments and, you know, play to the beat of the song. And recently on xbox game pass uh or xbox ultimate game pass now this is not sponsored by xbox but xbox feel free to call me i'd you know i'd love to be sponsored but anyways there's a game that just came out um amazing kind of blends these two genres together you know you got the perfect encapsulation of first person shooting and rhythm based gameplay and that game is called metal hell singer now, this is also good because I'm a metalhead. I love metal. I love death metal. Uh, pretty much any type of metal for the most part. I, I even like the weird metal, like baby metal, uh, poppy, I, I, you know. But <laughs> I love metal. I've always have. It's one of my favorite genres of music. And this game came out. And it's got the gameplay. It looks like Doom. It kind of plays like Doom. It's fast, phonetic, and it's just fucking great uh you know every beat you fire off a shot you fill this beat um so basically what it is it's like if doom had sex with guitar hero you would have metal hell singer um really good game really fantastic game uh, you know, I, I talked about some of my favorite games this year Elden Ring, Stray, uh, Pokemon Arceus, and Metal Health Singer just came out. Uh, it's not a very long game. You can make it as long as you want because there are optional things you could do. Uh, it's about five, six hours long for the main campaign. Each campaign has different tracks, um, which one of the last tracks is the one you're probably, and I'm, you know, it's not really a spoiler because it's in the trailer, is you have Sergei uh, Tannikin from System of a Down. He's in there, you know, having a pretty fucking awesome track at the end. And, you know, I didn't want to put it down. I, You know, I, I would have been awesome if maybe it was three or four more hours long it didn't wear out it's welcome um you know i was having fun the whole time uh you know i was kind of anticipating this game i i didn't expect a whole lot out of it but what i got out of it was probably one of the finest gaming uh well pieces of gaming in forever forever i mean for a very long time i had a lot of fun with this game uh, the graphics are nice. Um, it looks exactly like a heavy metal uh, album cover, if you know you know what I mean, like Megadeth, Iron Maiden, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it's just great. Uh, it runs great. Uh, you do have to do some calibrations with your mouse uh, and your keyboard to kind of get that to kind of match a little bit. Which you had to do that with Guitar Hero and Rock Band. You had to kind of do some calibrations in order to, for your screens to get those beats just right whenever it's communicating with your mouse and keyboard. Um, it's really good. It's really good. It's bloody as all hell. The story's neat. Um, it's 
it is what it is. I, you know, you're not playing this game for the story. You're playing this for the gameplay and uh, the music. And the music delivers. The gameplay delivers. Um, you know, I said Stray and Elden Ring and Pokemon Arceus are up there and for my game of the year. Um, but a new per new game just came out and delivered everything I wanted in the game. And this may. This just may be my game of the year, my personal favorite game of 2022. Um, it's fantastic, fantastic. Uh, you know, and I, you know, I'm probably overselling this game. A lot of you people might not not like it, and I understand it's not for everybody. But to perfect, you know, this this mold of two genres, uh, the first time out is pretty awesome it's it's quite astounding what they was able capable of doing uh, i'm not too familiar with the studio but you know i'm kind of hoping maybe they'll do more of these games more expansions i hope it does really well because it's probably like i said it's one of my favorite games this year and i i definitely want more i can definitely see myself going back playing this a whole lot more and i can imagine having something like the steam deck uh, or, you know, you play in xCloud, which I don't think that would really look good or play well on xCloud. Um, but I think you guys would have fun, uh, nevertheless. So, if you love metal, you love shooters, and you love Guitar Hero, and you love some killer, killer tracks, definitely check out Metal Hell Singer. If you don't have Xbox Game Pass, if you do, check it out. on. You can, I played it on PC, and like I said, it runs great. Uh, I, I had no problems with it. Um, but feel free to check that game out. Uh, other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it, and I'll see you soon.